Let's look at how to perform a multi-mode fiber test. We are going to perform a one jump reference, and using this, we will be performing the fiber test. When you order a fiber solution for multi-mode for wire expert, you will find a pair of modules capable of certifying at 850 nanometers and 1300 nanometers, a pair of duplex test reference cords, a pair of mandrills, a one-click cleaner, a duplex mating adapter, some fiber stops which cleans the modules. To start the testing, plug in the modules to the wire expert. If the unit is powered on and is not in the fiber mode, you will be asked whether you want to restart the device to start back in the fiber mode. If the unit is initially powered off, the device will automatically boot into the fiber mode when turned on. Once the device is set up, one jump reference is going to be used in the tutorials which is included as part of the kit. There will be a pair of test reference cords. Let's label them as cable A and cable B. On both the cables, SC connector can be found on either end, one is colored in red and the other one in black. The idea behind for a one jumper reference is to avoid disconnecting the transmit end of the test reference cord. This is required for fiber testing mainly to avoid the inconsistency in results. As long as the transmitting side is connected, it's mostly sure that the alignment is not changed on the receiving side. It doesn't matter much, mainly because the diameter of the receiver is much bigger than that of the transmitter. Once the two reds on the TX and RX on either end have been connected, as shown in the diagram, let's set up the instrument for setting reference. The TX and RX is labeled on the module itself. TX module and the reference cord shall be cleaned using the one-click cleaner before setting reference. We have to attach a mandrel on the TX side of both ends, since this is a multi-mode configuration. Moving on for performing a fiber optic test. If TIA limit is to be selected, go to the test settings menu and set up the configurations for the test that is going to be conducted. Make sure the connector in the link is only entered under the test settings. Do not include the end connectors of the link. Wire expert always assumes in respective of the type of reference set up, either one, two or three, that there are always going to be two end connectors at the end of the link and automatically include it in the optical budget calculation. So it is not necessary to add additional one or two links depending on one, or two connections, depending on one jumper, or two jumper reference respectively, wire expert automatically calculates it. Once entering the number of connection inside the test cable is done, which could be zero in the case of direct attach. Meaning the cable is run from patch to patch, proceed to setting up of the type of reference. If the test is a single directional test, the test for each fiber in only one direction. Let's assume that there is two fibers for the link, which is the typically the case, one for transmit and one for receive. The transmit fiber from left to right, and the receive from right to left would be tested and that will constitute a single directional test. Most end users would be required to perform a dual ended test. In this case, just select the appropriate configuration. A one jump remote test is being conducted in this case, Hence the respective setting is selected from the remote channel column. Once the reference scheme has been set up, the configuration you have set up would be displayed on the main menu. A set reference setting can now be conducted. Tap on the tools button in the wire expert to get to the tools menu. Click on the set reference icon and follow the instruction on screen. Once the end-to-end -end loss is confirmed to be under 0.2 decibels by performing an auto test, the fiber can be connected directly between the local and remote. And a measurement can be performed, and the set reference process is now complete. To verify the black cable, connect the cables as shown in the diagram. Next, run an auto test to verify if the loss is less than 0.15 decibels. Looking back at the original diagram, 
An auto test could typically mean that the same end of cable A would be connected to TX and RX of the local unit. The TX connection would not be changed, but the RX of both sides would be connected to the black end of the duplex cord into the RX of the probe. In the diagram, gram. the cable A, red, and black is connected to TX and RX respectively, and cable B is red, and black are connected to TX and RX on the remote units respectively, as shown. The other end of both cables will be left open to be connected to the test cable or the fiber on the patch panel. Once the connections have been established, press the auto test button on either the local or the remote unit to start testing the cable. After the test is completed, the results will be shown on both the local and the remote unit. Shown first is a summary screen in which the margins indicated at 850 nanometers and 1300 nanometers as well as the length of the fiber are indicated. If an application limits or network limits have been chosen, a column is shown which shows if the test is a pass or a fail with respect to the limits chosen. Along with the reflective index of the fiber cable, the number on the right is a margin which is the difference between the loss that is measured and the optical limit calculated. If an in-depth view is required, click on the respective wavelength, and the device would show you a more detailed page showing the loss base on each of the fibers. Since a single directional test has been performed, the loss is only measured from either left to right or right to left, depending on the fiber. The loss indicated in Fiber 1 would be the loss from the local to the remote, while the loss indicated in Fiber 2 would be the loss from the remote to local. Have a look at the other videos to explore on the other various features of Wire Expert. Thanks for watching.